few weeks ago, I thought they were gone dead and buried, but you know, they've dragged teams back towards them with it. They're on 37 points. There's three teams above them on 39, and they've dragged people into that equation now. After losing at home to Doncaster, can you see any way Charlton can be saved this season then? I, I can't really. You know, I don't like writing anybody off because I know how you know, tough it is when you're down there and how people react. We've seen Doncaster as in you know, the, their series of results, how they've got out of it and Forrest to a degree. James Coppins, you're there with a great goal, wasn't it? Fantastic. Nick Bailey equalises. Yeah, he, either, is he? He's had a tremendous season, Nick Bailey. He's been the, you know, the, the shining light in a, in a very poor season for Charlton. You know, when you look at the team and, and it's the Nick goals Bailey that conceded... On... Richie Wellens, isn't it? It is, it, yeah, just a little bit of disguise from Wellens going to shoot, and it's the momentum that's took him through. He has drew his foot away, but it actually the contact, we look at his shin there, just clips his knee and it goes down in a penalty, and Brian Stock doesn't mi miss from there, dead ball specialist. Do you find the amazing thing about Doncaster is there's been no plan B all season, where everybody else has changed managers and or tactics. Mm.